my name is Stuart Fuller. I work as a preventative conservator at Art Lab. As a preventative conservator, I'm responsible for managing deterioration and environmental effects on collection works within the state government institutions and local heritage trusts. So our job is to sort of look at the risks in a collection and manage them accordingly. We try and look after the object before it deteriorates or gets damaged. We use basic things like torches just to help us identify insects and look under shelving, um, in cupboards, etc. And then we look to more advanced with things like the LSEC, which can um, tell us temperature, relative humidity levels, and light level. When we look at something, we can, we can kind of predict that maybe that the, the light on an object may be outside the, the recommended standards. And so then we would test that with our light meters. We would notify the organisation that there's an issue and that we would put forward recommendations of how to act. And then from those recommendations, we would involve some treatments. You have to understand the science behind and the composition in the materials before you can sort of recommend a treatment option. The biggest perks would be um, seeing the, the materials close up without anyone around, having access to all the, the private stores or collection stores and um, opening boxes and you never really know what you're going to find, it's always interesting. Conservation is a hands-on profession, so you're not sitting at a desk all the time, you're out doing a variety of things. You're either you know, going out off-site to look in um, storage containers or you're working with curators or collection managers and sort of identifying issues. Um, we also do training for community organisations about how to manage their collections. So there is always going to be work for us. It's inevitable materials degrade and deteriorate. Understanding the material and who's, what's value that was attributed to it is important. Maybe the artist wants a object displayed with under bright light and that's part of the artistic intent of an object. But obviously you have, that's contrasting with preservation values of this high intensity light will be damaging this object. So it's sort of weighing up those options of if we, if we reduce the light level is the artwork still intent of the artwork still maintained or is that changing the artwork and thus the value of the artwork. Conservation is important on preserving Adelaide's cultural heritage for future generations, um, for maybe my children or their children's children, so I think that's an important aspect of the job.